An autologous stem cell transplantation or auto transplant is a medical procedure that is used for treating certain forms of blood cancer. Uh, and in an auto transplant, stem cells are first harvested from a patient. The patient then undergoes a period of transplantation where they receive high dose chemotherapy before they are rescued with their own stem cells. So the main indications for autologous stem cell transplant are blood cancers, namely conditions such as multiple myeloma, as well as certain forms of lymphoma. However, there are some other conditions which may also benefit from our auto transplant. These include some autoimmune conditions such as multiple sclerosis, as well as some uh, oncology conditions such as germ cell tumors. So aside from the medical indications which were explained earlier for patients who are eligible for auto transplant, uh, patients need to be of uh, reasonably good physical fitness Age itself does not tend to be a big barrier for auto transplants, and fit and well patients, even up to the age of 70 to 80, can sometimes be considered for an auto transplant. So, if a patient is assessed carefully and uh, their risk factors mitigated, majority of autologous transplants are associated with a relatively low risk of severe complications. So, when we look at an auto transplant, there are two main phases we look at. The first phase of the transplant is what we call the harvest. And this is where we, we, the patient undergoes a process by which we extract stem cells from the patient, which are then stored away. This then leads us to the second part of the process, which is the actual transplant itself. For a transplant, it tends to be divided into three stages. The first stage is what we call the conditioning process. And in this phase, the patient receives a combination of different forms of chemotherapy drugs to clear the bone marrow of the disease or the autoimmune condition. The second phase of the transplant is where the stem cells which are harvested previously from the patient are reinfused into the patient. For the majority of patients who have received an autologous stem cell transplant, they are often able to be discharged after three weeks of an inpatient stay. The incidence of uh, severe complications tends to be generally low nowadays where patients are well managed and uh, adequate care has been done in terms of assessing the patients in advance. After discharge from hospital, patients enter what we call the recovery phase, where they are managed as an outpatient, where they're deemed to be fit and mobile, and many of these patients do not require much blood transfusion support. In these cases, patients are monitored as an outpatient for a period of uh, one to two months at a frequency of around two times a week. Uh, thereafter, all being well, patients are then uh, can fall back to what we call a regular follow-up period.